is 90.1 FM WEFT with your girl Renee on July on this Thursday morning menu, Soulful, music, news, and commentary that makes your soul full. And we are going to take a little break from the music to bring my very own Angel Eye moment, always being told around 8.30. It is 8.35 And we are going to talk about footprints in the sand. And I'm not going to go over the actual poem that inspired me, but you can look up footprints in the sand. And just a little background, it's it's basically about seeing footprints in the sand. And you only see one set of footprints. Sometimes you see two. And the person asks the Lord, why am I only seeing one footprints in the sand? In my darkest times, you're leaving me all alone. And the Lord answers back, the times you only see the one set of footprints is the times that I'm carrying you. So this is about footprints in the sand, my angel eye moment. Sometimes we are so blind, ignorant, silly, and crazy minded that we don't even see the times we are being carried. We don't even understand that we are being carried because we are so busy looking down below at the garbage, the broken pieces from the chaos, confusion, suffrage, anguish, turmoil, and despair. We're looking left. We're looking right. And all we see in the midst of all this garbage is the distortion. Just one set of footprints. While we are looking down, we see these one set of footprints and we say, well, they got to be mine because I don't see anybody else's. I must be walking alone. Yet we are not walking alone at all because we are being carried, being carried through things we don't even understand we are being protected from, being carried from those broken pieces of glass set out to undercut our feet so that we don't even feel the pain or experience the blood. Instead, we experience a bloodline of a kingdom, a great kingdom with an overflowing reservoir that contains more than enough, an abundant life of universal infinite love that is so high that oftentimes we do not see it for ourselves. This kingdom directs the pathway to achieve our greatest successes in the moment. You may want to travel to China, but do not have the funds to fly. And that infinite source will direct you to a little shop with an affordable jade jewelry set. You may want to seek serenity in India, yet do not have the resources, but the ray or God source will unveil a statue of Ganesh, a brass vase, or silver goblets imported from that very space. That is the one set of footprints, the carrion, the direct pathway reminding you of the promise brought within your heart. In the times when the world attempts to knock you down, joblessness, homelessness, profiling, stereotyping, debt, we are all being carried. When the world tells you, no, you can't, the source says, yes, you can. Barack Obama did not come up with that concept. Yes, we can. That statement was declared many generations, thousands of years ago. Yes, I can. A spiritual concept that we ourselves do not fully understand. In the King James Version of the Bible, God told Moses to tell the people, I am that I am. Meaning the great one, the master of all, that verb, be of action. The infinite love that says, yes, I can. When the fathers of children walk out on their mothers or vice versa, it is the universe that says, I shall be the father. Yes, I can. When the schools deject many children from their space because they're not smart enough or rich enough or because they have a disability or were a certain race, it is the universal master of all that says, I shall be your teacher. Yes, I can. When those says, No, you can't. I choose not to participate. It is the ray or God source that says, I will participate. Yes, I can. And when he participates, you will not have your items any longer. Every single being that rob, kill, steal, and destroy will lose that which they've gained because of that one set of footprints that carries those who cannot walk at the moment. Those one set of footprints that carries is the builder to those who do not have homes, the restaurant to those who do not have food, the husband to the widow, the father to the fatherless, the teacher to those who have no education, the doctor to those who don't have medical coverage, the provider to those who do not have provisions, the soldier to those who do not have protection. 
that one set of footprints carries us over the threshold into a new home, a new life, a new day, a new realm of love. It was the Greeks who first recorded the concept of the husband carrying his wife over the threshold because in ancient times it was believed that when a union had commenced, demons stood at the doorway or the in-between to sever that ties that bind. To ensure the demons did not trip his wife, the husband picked her up in protection. And that is what the source is doing for us. Protecting from all those demons that attempt to break you down, pull you apart, tear you up, and eat you alive. Yet when those single footprints are carrying us over the threshold, those demons cannot even touch us because we are being covered and carried by that one set of footprints in the sand. And this is where I say, ah, until next week, I will have another angel ah moment. I am always expressing peace, love, and bliss till next week. This is 90.1 FM WEFT with your girl Renee on July rounding off the Thursday morning menu in these final moments. Here's a couple of public service announcements. Every day we count on things like the traffic light, the mailbox, and the elevator. But did you know all these things came from the minds of African Americans? Support Minority Education today so we don't miss out on the next big ideal tomorrow. The United Negro College Fund, because a mind is a terrible thing to waste. To support the United Negro College Fund, please visit uncf.org or call 1-800-332-UNCF. This is brought to you by the United Negro College Fund and the Ad Council.